New task added. Place Ongot's Fest. Alright, um. Class first. Is that a clasp? Oh. Boom. Um, is there one down there? Two. Oh, I got it. Oh. Oh, that is. Okay. Um, that's kind of disturbing. Uh, so I guess we need to find a new one. Alright, is that out here somewhere? It's probably in the house, isn't it? I would have to guess it's in the house somewhere. Somewhere. I shouldn't have made such a mess. So now I'm never going to be able to find it. Is that the date? Friday, July 24th. Hey, that's the release date. Ah, oh, that's a cool touch. I like that. 2076. Um, okay. Uh... Um, ooh, that looks like a vest, doesn't it? Looks vest-like. That looks like it could be it. Boom. It worked. God, I'm amazing. There you go, good eagle, sir. Find an application for the number. What number? Vest has some numbers. Oh. I did have numbers, didn't it? It does. Alright. Um, numbers. Let's go to that. No? Um, what could use numbers? There's something around here. These are the numbers. Numbers, 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 numbers. And numbers, none of that. Um, I love all the detail in this. I really like all the just random stuff just thrown all over the place. And then you can interact with almost all of it, not quite everything, but most of it. Um, some glue and pills and stuff in there. If I ever need glue, I'll know where to find it. Um, oh. Uh, maybe I have to do something with her. 3326. Um, what was that? I saw. Oh, oh god, I took off her boobies. Um, just put that back. Uh, some numbers up there. Do I have to do something with this? Yes, no, no. Um, some, oh, that looks like it. Nope, maybe not. Oh, there's music. Um, is that some? I just picked that up. Uh, oh wait, there's a thing over here, wasn't there? I remember seeing this. Is this what I have to do? Read entries. Yeah. Enter password. Okay, that's probably it. Um. Don't remember what it was. I think it was two zero five three. Oh, I got it right. I'm so good. I'm amazed at how well I'm doing. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. I got a journal now. Thanks to Baha. My name is Ebba Enibish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Botshin says lots of people used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since, aside from myself. Botchin and Ongutz. Ongutz has got very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. Don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. Um, the wind picks up. It gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, uh, but not for long. Can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layered vest in that program about greenhouses. So, oh, I guess that was for the bird thing, I think. Um, I have read that. Keeps on guts and gets whatever his name is warm during the day. And when the night's chill arrives, put him into another warm vest. Oh, that's probably why I replaced his vest. Collect and digitalize, digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make phytocopies of them. 
Baja then takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. Alright, so that'd be why the other copier thing there. Got a new genomet genometer. Genometer. It measures everything. Flowers, insects, people. Clocked Botchen at 47 and the tree by the gate at 24. Even the stool got measured. Though that took a little longer. But when aimed at Ongots or myself, it still shows the same old air. Grandpa says it's all providence. Prov- yeah. Maybe he's right. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody beside me. But I don't see who. The dream is fleeting. Always leaving me with a strange sensation. Like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody. I can never remember what or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and... Car guardian, that, that. It makes me want to go there, to that town. Oh my god, there's a lot of reading. <laughs> Alright, um, I have this dream sometime. Oh wait, I just said that. Okay. Grandpa Abachin has died. You wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. The Baja even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Wow. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town for my dreams. For my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Yulan Batar. Bator. Blah, blah, too, do, blah. Too bad the genome genome that I won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. Ugh. I look up at the poster over my bed. For some reason, I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy. An old little space case. Ongots had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field, got scared, and stashed the toys away for some reason. To make sure I didn't forget the hiding place came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as a cow. That was probably something I need to pay attention to. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as a oh, as a crow. As a cow. I'm dumb. On a rock with a snag. Look for an arrow. Sorrowful tree will show you the way. Pox in the sand will a mystery betray. Wow. How old was he when he had this? That's a pretty five. He left this clue when he was five. Wow, he was a smart kid. Um, okay, so I th I'm guessing this is the, I don't know what the year it is. I have no idea what year it is. By strays a crow on a rock with a snag, look for an arrow, some tree, okay. Um, but now I can't find it. Alright, so I'm guessing that's what I have to do. Game save, that's a good sign. I'm doing some right. Um, find your toy, yeah. Okay. Um, is this a yurt? I have no idea what a yurt is. A yurt. A yurty yurt. Is that a yurt? No, it's a satellite. You guys thought it was a yurt. What are you guys thinking? Um, I think that's the dome, so I don't think they'd call that a yurt. Maybe those are yurts, but there's like ten of them. I'm going to guess this is a yurt. Ooh, can I climb up here? I don't think so. Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. Stand is mobile. There must have been something that attached to it. Uh oh, I'm falling off. Um. All right. Well, let's go straight out of here. I'm gonna hope this is the yurt. Could have been something else. Is this the rock? Rock. What was it? A. Uh, on the rocks. Snow, oh, thing on there. Uh, right, snag for an arrow. I don't see a snag. Or an arrow. I'm not entirely sure what a snag looks like. I know it has something to do with traps and that sort of a thing. But... I am not... Exactly. Okay, so we need to go straight. 
go straight. Boom. And okay, let's go this. Oh, maybe it's that. That looks like a somewhat important thing. That could be a snag, right? Big tree. I know it has wood. Oh wait, there's an arrow. I did it. Do I follow the arrow? Or do I? Um, on a rock snag, look for an arrow. Let's start with a tree. We'll show you the way. All right, so I think I have to go that way. Doop 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 doop. Looking for a sorrowful tree. Um, is that a sorrowful tree? Doesn't look that sad. It's like a pretty, pretty normal tree. Um, are there any arrows on here? Arrow, arrow, arrow. That looks kind of sorrowful. Oh, arrow! I did it. Found the second clue. Um, box and sand, little mystery betray. Oh, I bet that's it over there. It looks well. It's kind of dirt. It's not really sand. It's kind of sand. No, it's eh, it's kind of dirt. Um. Ooh. That looks like something. I did it. Ooh, what's that? All right. Well, um. What do I do now? Connect the processor to the young one. Oh, it's a processor. That's a computer thing. All right, so I'm, I think the young woman was a robot, I'm guessing, because that's the only sort of young woman I've seen. I haven't seen any uh, other things that could be a young woman. Um. that noise. Is there something out there? Is there something out here? Guess not. Hopefully not. I'm gonna shut the door just to be safe. It's kind of scary. Um, do I put in her boobies? Um, that now can't seem to use. Okay. Uh, can I do anything else? Oh, that's probably where it goes. Took off her head. That looks like the thing I have. All right. Um, that goes in there. I think. Yeah, seems right. Um, let's put her head back on. Um, fine, and connect the synchronizer. What? Is that something in her boobies? Um, it's a synchronizer. Uh, is this a synchronizer? This could be a synchronizer. Is that something? Is that something? Synchronize. Oh, this is a synchronizer. It says it's on the little label right there. I probably have to put that in there. Yes. How's that good? Um, find and connect the container. Is that that other little thing that was below it? Probably. Yes. It kind of looks like. Oh wait, does it container? It says container. Yes. Put it in there. Now what? Switch on the mechanical woman and talk to her. Should probably put her boobs back on. Probably won't like me a whole lot if her boobs aren't attached. Oh. Uh oh. I may have screwed up something. Oh god. <laughs> I think I messed up. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Um. I'm sorry. I think I broke something. Wait. No. She broken? Hello? Is it working? Um, hi. 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 Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. Ah, oh, it is a yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. 
Are you a Morga? I don't know, but I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a Mulgar. Hmm. I have no idea what a Mulgar is. I don't know what a Mulgar is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What? What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? Um, fused together. They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Enabish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What? what marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, yet it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but... We need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, Passium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, 
Your M body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. That's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> um... Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. Hmm, that sounds fun. It looks the part. M-body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. All right. Don't die either from not being able to breathe. I'm not sure how long <laughs> it's going to take her to uh, be able to breathe, but that's all right. Um, how long she can go without breathing, I'm going to say. So I'm going to the I get access to the enclosure. All right, let's go over there. Let's see what uh, see what we can find. Very, very atmospheric. Quite to like it. Can we go up here? I don't think so. Oh, no. Ah. No. Stop it. Alright, whatever. Um, that thing. Ooh. Ooh, that looks neat. Alright. I'm cool with this. This looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty neat. But, before I go in there, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Ha ha ha. Um. Yeah, so uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. We'll go in there next time, see what see what's up, um, and uh, have a good time. So far, I gotta say it looks really cool. Um, definitely enjoying it. It's pretty pretty neat neat game. Um, can I just walk through here? No. So uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'm making more more videos of this game and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will uh, I'll see you guys next time